Welcome to the first episode that we're recording. The first one. Yeah. The, the way nor- Welcome to absolutely nothing's different. Dude, I wish we did that the other way around. Man. <laughs> My mind is fried right now, dude. That's welcome. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to check out the Patreon if you want to know what, what we're talking about. Maybe that's what we should start doing. Is like what? doing the Patreon first and then being in like a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> being like fucked up. <laughs> Watching weird, gross shit. <laughs> welcome to nothing. That and our beloved... Our beloved patrons send us to check out. I don't know how much your guys' Patreon is, but it's worth it, dude. (laughs) (laughs) What is he, some of the craziest shit on the planet? (laughs) (laughs) Some shit that really I will be thinking about for the rest of the night. Yeah. Dude, that's that's with me for the rest of the week, that one, man. That's, oh my God. That's just, that's probably the darkest one we've checked out yet. Yeah. Let's just say for you, uh, guys who aren't on the patreon that let's just say we're never gonna look at build the bear the same yeah dude <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna walk by that place with a grim looking i'm gonna look like a fucking i'm gonna look shell-shocked when i walk by that dude place. i'm not yeah. even gonna look at it like a an actual dog the same way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's a nice sph <laughs> 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 what's that mean never mind no don't worry about it <laughs> Accidentally dropping that in a combo <laughs> from SPH talk. <laughs> parents are like, "What, dude? What are you talking about?" Never mind. Um, that's cool. SPH. It's like, yeah, don't worry it's about like it. Like sunscreen dude. or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> well, you know, chicks like their pussies get fucked up. It's because they're SPH. <laughs> <laughs> Your chicks gotta watch their uh, SPH. You see some th- hot, hot woman on the street. Like, damn, that's real SPH on that. Any, <laughs> dude, something about like any like sex term just feels real like Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Like just talking, like learning, like sex terms. Yeah, like what? What's another one? Um, I, I guess maybe that's not what I mean. I just mean like uh, just being too into sex is like strange. Yeah, it's weird to me. Like you know, like I, where the fuck did he say that? Where Kevin Spacey was talking about like when he gets a massage, you just slightly lift, you just slightly raise your ass. <laughs> Kevin Spacey was saying <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, it was some. I fucking forget where I saw it, but he was like, and when you get a massage, you just arch your back and raise your ass a little bit. Dude, ew. <laughs> yeah. Dude, gross. Let's keep this one wholesome. <laughs> yeah. This is Let, a... Let's make fun of Zelensky some more. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's, 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 let's watch this video for all the all the fellas. Oh, let me just start recording. But he just got... Uh, that's like... Speaking at the UN. Very inspirational. Very inspirational. It's crushing it. Give me money, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro, please, bro. You know I'm good for Whoops. it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's how good that speech was. He had the <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> dude, that's his body double. <laughs> well, dude, you know, you ever seen, like, the one of the newer Star Wars when, like, Luke, he just, like, projects himself? Yeah. He, like, uh, he had to be there? Yeah. You got, dude, he's I, fighting Kylo Ren right now. That's all he's doing. <laughs> Buddy had to <laughs> had to watch. <laughs> got to listen to the realest one I know. <laughs> be pass, yeah. passing the blunt to the realest motherfucker I know. <laughs> but like, I don't know when this one's from, but he's wearing his dumb little army uniform that he always wears. Is it the fucking black guy from the IT crew in the back with the white glasses? Like Richard Iote? <laughs> yeah. Looks like it, yeah. We've got somebody in like a headdress back there too. What is that? The UN has got to be the most annoying crowd. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. With like fucking feathers and shit. <laughs> 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 That's fucking... Uh... <laughs> I mean, she's got to be from some... F- Feather-headed ass country. <laughs> <laughs> She's from some country that's had a war that's been going on since before we were born. That the UN's never given a fuck about. <laughs> never helped her with. And every week, yeah. every fucking month at the UN, she's like, "Another three hundred million people got killed this week in my war." And the UN's like, <laughs> "Shut <laughs> up, fuck you." And then Zelensky's bitch. like, "Bro, please, just another like eight or nine billion. That'll be fine." Bro, spot me like twenty-eight billion, please. <laughs> Bro, please, we've got, got it this dude. time. Bro, I, I, you know, I'm good for it. You know, I pay it back later. I just, I'm in a tough spot right now between job and everything. Well, I think the whole country's gonna just get sold off. Yeah, is how it's gonna work. Yeah, and I think even if they win, they lose. Yeah, absolutely. Because the country will just get auctioned off to BlackRock. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll become uh, Little Saint Blackrock. Little Saint Blackrock, yeah. <laughs> Little Saint Keeve. Ke- <laughs> yeah. The Four Which, Wise. I love that. It's so funny to have like territorial disputes over like the like bleakest looking place on the planet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you really want more of this? It's just Saskatchewan. That's all the Ukraine <laughs> is. For. It's you Saskatchewan want is like a, a bunch, bunch of, of wheat. <laughs> yeah. And then you, and all the cities are just parkades. <laughs> yeah. There's like two buildings and it's just ninety parkades <laughs> yeah. that guys like live in. Yeah. Shitty old apartment buildings. <laughs> parkades. Dude, they rooms. build the apartments there old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they get like build them new. They just glue old concrete together. <laughs> Bro, there's not a granite countertop in sight in all of Ukraine, dude. No. It's all shitty. There's not even like a nice lighting fixture. <laughs> all houses come linoleum floors. Well, they're all <laughs> yeah. peeling up yeah. on the edge. Yeah. Solid concrete. Yeah. You got that in here you've got that um Mexican bedroom room tile oh yeah that you see in every video yeah, like, well, like, that's like on the floor in like a bedroom in mexico part of the yeah. basement does half of it yeah this basement was done by a shoddy idiot <laughs> who did like half of it <laughs> and this place quit. is pretty good yeah this is a i think no. this room used to be for growing weed maybe nice because this little teeny room has seven outlets in it <laughs> 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 it's like a custom house for a retarded guy. <laughs> yeah. This was that was just probably like the gaming dungeon. And I believe there used to be a yeah, toilet like over there by <laughs> the uh, furnace. A toilet? It, 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 there's like a some some plumbing work that suggests there might have been a toilet nice. in the middle of the room at one point. Nice. I love a good. That's what we should we should you know to get make money is you just open like a home building company, custom homes for poor retarded people. <laughs> Yeah, we do it real cheap. Real cheap, but you, dude, you want a room? We'll with do half of it, <coughs> buddy. Real cheap. I'll put a fucking basketball hoop over the kitchen sink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> well, it'll be the sickest house of all time. <laughs> oh, you want to? You don't like that outlet? We'll just turn it into a fucking ashtray, buddy. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. When when we moved in, um, the people who lived here before us were using empty outlets as ashtrays. I think that's where I got that from. <laughs> <'cause> I remember <laughs> there was like a non-functioning one in the wall that was full of ash. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> Smoking inside, you don't want your wife to catch you? And weird like stains on like ceilings and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Nice. This was the old, uh, this was a little sex mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Nice absentee landlord though. Wicked. Never has never come over. Nice, <laughs> nice. You have plumbing issues all the time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's nice. P- it's pretty choice choice pad. I'd rather that than like a one of those like new houses that get built. Oh, okay, but yeah. Speaking of Zelensky dressing in his little army uniform. Yeah. Have you guys seen the whole thing recently about uh, John Fetterman? Oh, and he's he's like rocking ho- cargo shorts he's like in the Senate. And shorts and yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's been cloned, right? It's official. Maybe because ev- I keep seeing uh, people saying Fetterman's not the same. Yeah, yeah I, I saw a clip of him the other day. He was like clowning some reporter or something. Yeah, and he was yeah. being funny. He's like, Ooh. He's like <laughs> the reporter was a big fucking ogre. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was do uh, no the no Fetterman was trolling oh. the reporter. <laughs> Just being a big Shrek looking guy. <laughs> Well, I saw he was crying the other day, too. Yeah, I saw that, too. He had a thing really? where he was crying because people were bullying him because he's brain damaged and wears <laughs> hoodie to the set. <laughs> it's like, well. He's walking into the Capitol building just fully car hearted out is <laughs> crazy. It's like, you don't have them. to be a senator, man. No, you know? <laughs> yes. like, no one's forcing you to do this. He's trying to like sell himself as like a like a small town like working man. I think, yeah. but I'm pretty sure he's just been in politics like since he was yeah, like 18. Had, yeah. His dad was like an insurance company executive. And yeah. he went to Harvard and then was one of those fucking sickos who became like a mayor when he was 20. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, but he, he dresses in like drywall installer <laughs> drag. Yeah, like, dude, he looks like a bunch of guys I've worked with. Yeah. The guys who like <laughs> have like criminal records. And he just looks like a big caveman. But he's like a Harvard rich kid. Yeah, just embrace it. With brain damage. He's doing um opposite of uh, George Santos. Yeah. George Santos <laughs> was like a poor kid who like <laughs> lied his whole way into who being sucked a, his way up from the favela <laughs> yeah. into the halls of Brazilian <laughs> favela. <laughs> who fucking slithered out of the Brazilian swamps yeah. and made his way up. Is he actually from Brazil? Yeah. Oh, he oh, did he uh, Oh, oh! You just have to be an American to become president. That's it. It's, I think president's the, the only one where you oh. know, maybe senator, but congressman you I can mean, be fuck, from somewhere Barack else. Barack Obama did it. That, but yeah, buddy's fucking another guy who sucked his way to the top. <laughs> yeah, literally. Ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, so did George Santos. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those pictures of George Santos and drag are so funny. 
He's my favorite U.S. politician. Though. He's awesome. Yeah, he's I up love there. that guy. I like talented the, Mr. Ripley ass George Santos. I think Andrew Yang is funny too. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. But Pelosi. Well, I like how Andrew Yang like started a new type of politician. Of like an Asian businessman who runs like a long shot presidential campaign, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and now there's just going to be a new one every single time. Yeah, you know, I think most of his his supporters are just people who think he's the guy from Rich Dad Poor Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the dude from Crazy Rich Asian. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then I think he started one of those like I think every couple years they pop up like. We're having a new party that's neither left nor right, but forward. Yeah, and then nobody yeah. gives a fuck. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> like, that's gay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, gay party. Was yeah. It, wasn't that what Kanye was doing? He, he made it, I think he, he had the birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what his party was. I'm probably 90% sure that's what it was called. The birthday. Was he, he still running for president? He comes every every election. He like says he talks about it, but it's like last minute. And then he's like, oh fuck, it's too late. That's yeah, it. I didn't he, do all the paperwork. He yeah. doesn't. He didn't. And a bunch of people like wrote Kanye on ballots and shit, but he like didn't do any of the paperwork. But now he's just getting his dick sucked in Venice. Or if he called whatever. his party getting your getting sucked off on a yacht party, <laughs> yeah, he'd get every vote in America. Yeah, if he could fill yeah. up the paperwork. If he could fill up the paperwork. Which I'm guessing is at least like eight or nine forms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking he's not coming back for this 2024 election nah, he's like got, he said he would. No, yeah. he's got alien shoes to make. <laughs> yeah, he's got dude. weird alien shit to design. Yeah, and he's, he's got, got his like weird... His weird wife to walk. He's on like some with. like samurai shit right now though. Like he's walk he's walking around in like a turban thing, like a, <laughs> like in no shoes. Like he's wearing like just socks. He's wearing like fucking linebacker shoulder pads. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and it has his wife in like a skin colored bodysuit, like having yes. a pillow in front of her and shit <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah, he's he's really living a like alien lifestyle. Yeah, right he now. like shaves off his eyebrows like every other week. <laughs> he's living like the fucking thing from Arrival, or not Arrival. Uh, Annihilation, the little weird chrome alien, just morphing around. <laughs> yeah, he just morphs, dude. Is he? Is, does he still make music? Kanye, dude, I hear he's working on a new album, man. They're saying there's a new Kanye album coming out uh, in October. Pretty oh. pumped on that, man. I, I came around to Donda. I didn't like it at first. Oh, Donda, it's hot Donda. though. Donda. I, I liked when he was doing those big stadium shows. Those were the, sick. The, the Donda the, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The listening Wasn't parties. It like Donda two or whatever. Oh. uh... Or, Something. It was the yeah the Donda shows when he was living in uh, living inside of the Atlanta like the Mercedes Benz yeah, Stadium. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick. But he had the whole right. arena show where the whole ground was covered in water. With, like, yeah. A house oh, on that, fire. yeah, that was that the was, last that one. Was, yeah, that was, was the fun. last one. His shit was. I remember when he had that Wyoming listening party. For oh, that EA. one was yeah, like Jonah Hill was there, like yeah. Chris Rock and shit. That it was, was it was like all out in the mountains. It was like yeah, big fight. it was for kids see ghosts too. Yeah, he had, like big like effigies burning and shit. Like it's cool as fuck. Dude, that was Pete Kanye right there. The the yay time because. I think he like produced like seven albums that all dropped. Like, yeah, he did push it. He's uh, yeah, Tiana Taylor right I think, before he right? started showing some unfortunate media ownership graphs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right before he started telling the truth, <laughs> he started showing some statistics you're not allowed to talk about. Dude, there's gonna be some bars on this next album though, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he has this way some of stats. He always has this. He has this really natural talent of making like like ugly shit like really catchy <laughs> yeah. yeah he's so good at, at like sticking like kind of an ugly thought in your head mm. and making it mad catchy and he's super funny too he's so funny yeah i'm not i, I visited this doctor i'm not gonna say what race he is <laughs> i'm not gonna say i visited this doctor he was jewish <laughs> <laughs> like he knows that's dude. great timing dude i think he's like a huge stand-up guy he loves stand-up but like uh, he, <laughs> yeah Dude, he always like, dude. I always hear like uh, stories of him like he would like pop into the comedy store and shit. <laughs> he's mad funny. I think he loves Anthony Jeselnik. That's uh, that's <laughs> he's uh, that's he's up there for Kanye. My favorite thing is finding out his his like shit he like like he's like he like loves like Star Wars. Love Star Wars. I think he he's a huge fan of Akira. <laughs> Hell that's yeah, a sick dude. One. I that, think that's a good. An we were ragging on anime. That's a cool anime that won't turn you into a sicko if you. No, want it'll to. make you cool and want to ride motorcycles. Yeah. But All I, I know about Akira is the font. They've got a cool font. It's a good font. It's worth your time. You should watch it. It's tight. It's Akira, good. Yeah. yeah. It, and it won't make you a gross pervert. No. It's cool. Look, dude, I yeah. think like literally like the first like eight years of his career is based off Akira. That's I'm pretty tight. sure. Just like the. I mean, the those weird it. jackets he wears and shit well, actually like the are kind of Akira. Shit. Yeah. I think like looking. the. Because the Kira, they have those motorcycle jackets. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, the Donda red uh, outfit, yeah. yeah. He's dope. He, I, I like him a lot. He's well, so funny. Well, and apparently, I don't know if this is true, maybe maybe you'd know, but uh, I guess at one point they are talking about doing like a, like a biopic of him, and his choice to play himself was Danny McBride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, I think he linked up with Danny McBride and was like trying to convince him to. <laughs> 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 I was like, hey, why would you say no to that? I have, yeah. uh, especially if like you've got the guy asking you, you can't yeah. get in that much trouble for. No, him. it's not like Bradley Cooper playing a Jewish guy and then being like, I need the biggest nose of all time. Dude, that is the funniest <laughs> way to do a biopic, though. I don't even think he was gonna do blackface or anything. It was no. just gonna be like regular looking, like Kenny Dude. Powers from just <laughs> being Kanye. That would rule. That, that would have been so sad. It'd be so funny. <laughs> Kanye is the funniest guy of all time. Yeah, like you see that, like, but back when he was hard on the anti-Semitism, yeah, <clears throat> like that clip of Gavin McInnes talking to him and giving him like <laughs> every possible out, and he was just so hard on his guns. Yeah. Like he was, Gavin McInnes was like, "Well, when a black person commits a crime, you don't hold it against every black person." And Kanye's like, "No, I don't." And he's like, "So, when Jewish people do something, you don't hold it against all of them, right?" And he's like, "I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do." <laughs> yeah. Fuck. He's the f- he's when so Gavin McInnes is trying to talk you down. Off the <laughs> <lab>. <laughs> Thumbs up when like when he was on Alex Jones. It was crazy to see Alex be like the most moderate guy in the room. Oh yeah, dude, man. Alex was sweating listening. He to was him. The, well, he was just sitting there masked up. He had like the full like, big <laughs> yeah, jacket. I, I like, love Hitler. Yeah. I've forgotten all this shit and it's coming. But yeah, he was wild for like six months or whatever. Yeah. There, dude, he, saying, he like, always does just this. hit he, after he, hit after hit. Dude, yeah. the slavery was a choice thing. He was on a <laughs> kick with that yeah. there for a while too. He was big on like prison reform and shit. <laughs> yeah. He was like in the Oval Office with Trump, like talking <laughs> about being Superman or something. Did, yeah, didn't didn't that happen because he saw Django Unchained or something? <laughs> was it? <laughs> I thought so. He watched Django Unchained <laughs> and got a crazy into slavery. <laughs> yeah, look, it is a choice. Django left. <laughs> Is that easy? <laughs> Look at him. He's wearing the little fucking blue outfit and a hat. You, if you're a slave, you could just leave. Maybe when his current, um, <clears throat> like, Romanian wife leaves him, yeah, we'll get another another few months. Yeah, because it, it, he always is best in crisis. Yes, he's always peak Kanye when he's in crisis. Dude, like the Saint Pablo tour. You ever see those clips? There's there's uh, compilations of them. Just he's on like on the floating stage, like yelling about like Hillary Clinton. Yeah, and he's like Jay Z has shooters. Jay Z's gonna send the shooters <laughs> after the shit like that. <laughs> he that by the way probably that's my favorite of his albums. Uh, Life of Pablo. Yeah. yeah, I literally my entire eighth grade. That's the only thing I listened to. Oh man, I listened to it when I was like nineteen. Damn. I've never really listened too point. much of his music. I just I like his political opinions. <laughs> just that. Him yeah. as a guy is sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I liked his live shows and stuff. He knows how yeah. to put his, on a his, fuck. His stuff's good. I just... Dude, the show he did with Drake, that one was sick. The Free Larry Hoover. Yeah. The, that was dope. The Yeezy live shows or Yeezus? Well, what, where he was what, all what like the... he was like goth and wearing like Metallica merch and shit. <laughs> <laughs> He'd come out in like a f- big like uh uh, like we had that like oh the shiny, oh the mask the yeah silver yes. mask that like Versace would design or something that shit was sick he used to bring out Jesus on the Jesus tour pull up a yes, clip of that shit yeah. that's awesome you'd bring out Jesus in like <laughs> in a stadium and uh, yeah. they'd go nuts yeah he would bring out legit Jesus uh, I should probably search this yeah, the guy's a fucking brilliant entertainer <laughs> he is dude he's what would these be like a Jesus live show uh so yeah search up a uh, Jesus tour um Jesus yeah he the guy is fucking unbelievably good at entertaining. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see after after uh, Adidas like severed their ties with him, they lost like 2 billion or some yeah, shit. Yeah, and then like the CEO of Adidas like last week was like, "Oh yeah, Kanye West is the best." <laughs> They're like <laughs> yeah. trying to bring him back. Of course. The guy's fucking great. Okay, I don't want to listen to this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're on. Can we just got I would love that job though, the to, raw to be the Entertainment Tonight guy. Is, is this the right one? <laughs> uh, I I would I, I would guess so. Yeah. Oh no. Or is this no? This is just Jesus walks. Oh. Or maybe he brings out. Oh, he probably oh, brings, brings out, out Jesus, Jesus during stage? Jesus yeah. walks. Is this gonna be another annoying? It's like a Watch <laughs> Mojo clip or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's it's another one of those. God, Fuck. How did damn he s- it, Sandra? Dude. Why do all clips have this shit? I just want to see the... Oh, shit. That channel has 2 million subscribers. No, Maybe we should yeah. be listening to this. Well, Sandra like, Matos. We could learn, the kind we of shit learn that, like, something. When I see a channel, like, whatever that was called, Information Mindscape <laughs> yeah. or whatever, like, when I see that shit and it's got 2 million subscribers, it's like, wh- it's why, like who are all these people? Who the fuck are you? You subscribe <laughs> I to I think this? you found another one of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Get off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where's the raw Jesus footage, dude? Christ. 3 a.m. <laughs> just saying. What is this? What is just saying? How many how many subs do we think this, this uh, show has? 350K. I'm going to say 680. 
I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to say 500. I'm going to say 1 million, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot high. Oh, 100. 134. Oh, this is some stupid newspaper. I think. The Mirror. 3 8. Dude. <sighs> Major okay, media yeah, Kanye was, meets white Jesus on the Jesus tour. <laughs> this has got to be that. That's the raw footage, right there. Gotta for be. sure. Yeah, yes. 80, 86 we, subscribers. Yeah, so there we go. go. This is what we, yeah. Dude, that's dope. That is sick. <laughs> oh my god, that, dude! Being in that building would be fucking electric. Ele- electric, yes. Jesus is coming. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> It's like when the WWE had a match against God. Remember that? <laughs> no. They just shone a spotlight in the ring oh, and it moved serious? around. <laughs> I think Stone Cold fought Jesus or God or something. Who won? Stone Cold? I think so. Oh, yeah. Dude, he Hell got yeah. down on one knee for Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. The guy's a master. Honestly, uh, uh, hand to Christ, I would, and I would go to this. You remember when like Foxworthy and Larry the Cable Guy did that like redneck comedy tour or whatever? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If Trump and Kanye... <laughs> Did a comedy tour oh. of just them doing like press conferences around the country. Yep. Uh, Trump, like Kanye has his high high performance value thing. Yeah. Like Trump does some crowd work, crowd yeah. work <laughs> afterwards. Look at this guy, my little brown friend. Look at you. Uh, like that would be electric. No, Trump, in, would Trump open for Kanye? Trump's got to be the opener for yeah, Kanye. He's as much as it. I hate to say it. Yeah. Like a, uh, you can't. Kanye this is not an opening dude. act. Bringing Jesus out is not a. You're not doing 20 minutes and bringing <laughs> that's Jesus cool. out. Yeah, that's, a, that's closer energy. Yeah, but but Trump's amazing at firing up the people, slinging out pizzas, burgers, oh, yeah, Look shaking you, hands, signing tits. That fucking special he put out on CNN, the 30 minutes comedy special he put out. <laughs> what was it, that town hall thing? Yeah, where dude, he was just crushing. <laughs> it was so fun. He had the crowd like laughing and like heckling. Yeah, dude, and they, they were it CNN people, too, which is yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> like, that's the power of that guy. Like, it's easy yeah. to, like, hate on him online. Yeah, but like, in, in the in the flesh, you can't. You're fucking sitting in the crowd. It's impossible. Who's, he was going off at somebody at, like, 3 in the morning the other day on <laughs> Truth, but who was it? <laughs> I, 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 like, from 3 a.m. 3 a.m. thought he is so yeah. funny. Dude, much, Trump introing Kanye too would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna bring out this fine African American, <laughs> fine African. <laughs> He's one of my favorites to watch. He's electrifying. Him, uh, Trump hosting stand-up comedy would be so yes, funny. Dude. Trump hosting an open mic. <laughs> <laughs> this next guy, he kills it all around town. You one of my it. favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching him every time. <laughs> Trump should dude if nothing works out Trump should start an open mic show in Washington <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the cosmic pizza or whatever the fuck yeah, yeah, open yeah. mic and cosmic in the basement <laughs> <The> comic ping pong <laughs> they call it comic ping pong comic ping pong <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'd be sick yeah the Mar-a-Lago open mic <laughs> the swamp comedy <laughs> <laughs> dude an open mic at Mar-a-Lago would Go no, fucking be crazy. crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah there'd be, be a, a rowdy of, crowd of people. Kevin bunch Hart of would leathery do it. old ladies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we should start an open mic in Margaritaville. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Send a letter to the estate of Jimmy Buffett. Hey, we need to. We want to do open mic stand up at Margaritaville. <laughs> Dude, I've said this multiple times, but I, I really want to start an open mic at the Bubba Gum Shrimp Co. in uh, West End. <laughs> in West End. That'd be so awesome. That'd be tight. Eat, eating shrimp and yes. fish yeah. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Forrest Gump up. playing like behind people doing stand up <laughs> is awesome. Do they do that? The, yeah, they, they, have... they play Forrest Gump on repeat. Like, they got TVs all day. All throughout the place. It's the only thing they play. Because Bubba Gump existed pre Forrest Gump, right? Right? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was no? it's just for the movie. Oh, I think because Bubba Gump is the company they start in the movie. That's like the the, the yeah. shrimp business they start. It's, it's his like war buddy. But I, I thought yeah. it already existed. Did it? I think so. Because it they blew just my mind. Branded as, as a kid. Up. Yeah, we used to be fucking Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> like now we're Forrest Gump tie-in. Oh no, never mind. Nineteen ninety-six. I think that'd be after the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it, uh, yeah, Forrest Gump came out in '94, I think. Yeah. Tom Hanks does not own it. Oh. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. In case Damn. anyone was wondering, does Tom Hanks? Own- <laughs> what a retarded guy question. <laughs> <laughs> does Tom Hanks own Bubba Gum? Like, are you fucking <laughs> dude, 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 not being satisfied with the meal? Bring out Mr. Hanks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is Mr. Hanks here? I'm. This is disgusting. Where's Forrest? Bring him out here right now. <laughs> yeah, they keep a retarded guy in the Where's back. Where's Jenny? Is it good? <laughs> I've never been. I've had uh, it once. I've had it once. I, I liked it. 
it was all right. It, yeah, it, it tastes like normal. movie food. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's pretty good. It, but also, it's like eating in a mall sucks. Yeah, w- just staying home and watching the movie is probably a better yeah. call. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I've eaten at a lot of those uh, food court Chinese food places in the oh, mall. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. all disgusting. <laughs> Dude, what is up with that? Why does every independent Chinese food place taste exactly the same? Because I, I don't know. I, I've had like 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 ginger beef from like probably nine different like separate Chinese food places. You're right. That is. Well, they all have the same menu. Yeah, it's all indistinguishable. Yeah. Like, is it is it just a supplier thing? Is there like one guy selling the ginger cool. beef to all these people? I think they have like kind of like a shared pool of labor to some extent, <laughs> and it's like North American yeah, it's called Chinese family. food <laughs> is like. Its own unique thing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't exist in China. That's true. No, in China, it's just, like, bland, nasty, like, chicken feet and it's stuff. Yeah, it'd be, like, like brain and, bats. and live, live snake. Yeah, we made it good. I saw, <laughs> <laughs> I saw this uh, thing the other day. It was a Chinese lady. She grabbed two live toads, and one of them she force-fed an egg, and the other one she, like, stuffed... I, I don't know, some purple <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, in its mouth, via, like, a funnel. Oh. And then she boiled them alive, <laughs> and then she took them out of like the boiling pot and was just like, and ate them oh, like an apple. <laughs> what a beautiful That's culture. real Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Dude, in like the seventh grade, uh, one of my Chinese friends invited me over to his house for dinner, and I was expecting like food court Chinese food. Dude, <laughs> yeah, I had to- <laughs> some, dude, <laughs> Shanghai noodles. <laughs> dude, his grandma and grandpa are sitting at the table, and I just had to watch this like grandpa like suck the bone marrow out of all of these fish's bones. Was, like a duck? He was eating the eyeballs of the fish. I'm like, this is not- <laughs> like the fucking food this court, is man. crazy. Where's the fucking ginger beef, dude? <laughs> yeah, that shit got invented for us. Yeah. yeah. So it's all like deep fried and sweet. Thank and God. No bones mm. or faces on any <laughs> yeah. of the food. Dude, like, one time, I remember in grade four, one, my best friend was Chinese, yeah. and I went to his house, and he never told me that his like ancient Chinese grandparents were living in the basement. <laughs> they all do it. Just like, yeah, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't warn me. And then, dude, I legit thought his house had a ghost. <laughs> I thought his house was haunted. <laughs> There's just people down there. Oh, <laughs> well, dude, I, he his like living room was like the entrance to the basement was like he had one of those like kind of half floor houses, so like uh, you could go down like three steps into his like living room, okay, or up yeah. three into like the upstairs. And I was in like the like the living room, which had the door to the basement. And he went upstairs to go pee, and this fucking ancient Chinese guy comes out of the basement, and I was fully like, fully nude. <laughs> he was in like a robe, and he was just <laughs> shuffling, and he didn't even look at me. Like he just like shuffled right past me, no no like hey or like, eye contact. He went and like got something from the fridge, and then like shuffled back downstairs. And then like as he came down, like my buddy came down, and I was like fucking legit i was like is there a fucking ghost in here <laughs> like i thought i was i thought he was like a haunting and i didn't say anything and then like the second time i came over his like like chinese grandma was like yelling at his mom and he was like sorry my grandma is mad and i was like oh okay yeah <clears throat> but for like a good like two weeks i swear to god he had like ancient chinese ghosts dude that's ghosts. what these ancient i had to watch those ancient chinese people eat that's <laughs> that's crazy yeah horrible table nightmare. manners those chinese <laughs> people really man eating live lizards and shit <laughs> yeah dude there's just slimy shit fucking running down their face it's gross that's really, crazy though. there's a chinese chef i like on youtube i think his name is chef hung i believe nice um and yeah, he'll occasionally get in trouble for like eating like endangered animals <laughs> and shit. And it'll be like him making a stir fry out of uh, like a rat. <laughs> but it'll be like, you know, it can be quite bloody to butcher this yourself. So get your rat dealer to <laughs> butcher it for you. But yeah, like turtles, like endangered tortoises, nice. and shit yeah. like that. That's the life. It looks pretty good. Dope eating that though. Eating some rat and turtles. Honestly, yeah. his shit always ends up looking really good. Yeah. I bet. But, yeah. Yeah, well, because if you, dude, if you had to eat rats, you'd figure out, like, the best <laughs> possible way to eat them, you know? So there was a thing going around a while ago, I guess it's a hot new street food trend in China, where they, um... <laughs> they eat their daughters? Not quite. What they do is they get, um, like, smooth stones, <laughs> okay. and then they stir-fry them in, like, chili sauce, and then you, like, suck on the stone. Man, they're poor, <laughs> poor. <laughs> like, deep, <laughs> like, fried rocks. That's like ice soup, dude. That's like, <laughs> that's like some poverty <laughs> food. You eat rocks in some sauce, dude. Yeah. And then you just... That's like dipping a rock in ketchup. And <laughs> fucking the ketchup <laughs> off. Pretty much. Damn. That's, that's a trend going around in China, <laughs> right? According to one post I saw online, so yes. It's a bunch of Chinese teens sucking on rocks. Dude. Yeah. Honestly, Spicy rocks. I wish we had 
trends like that. Yeah, our, our trends, trends are suck fucking compared to that. Man. Our trends yeah. is just like ruining Aziz Ansari's career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd rather we were just sucking on rocks <laughs> than taking nice, away the greatest comedic actor of all nice time. Nice spicy rock. Yeah. Licking some ketchup of a nice. What, what did Aziz do? He was just a bad date. Oh. He got canceled for like just being a kind of weird. Yeah, he was the loser. mildest one. Whereas just he went on Damn. a date and the girl was like, he was annoying. <laughs> they were like, all right, you can never work in this town again, Aziz. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, you, I think he just like asked for Roadhead or something. And then she was like, no. And then told on him. <laughs> she fucking told the teacher on him asking for Roadhead. Yeah. And he's he hasn't come back at all. And no. he was one of the first casualties. He didn't yeah. bounce back from that? No. Have you heard of anything? Well, no, of- dude, I, I uh, no, I saw him on stage with fucking Dave Chappelle and like Travis Scott like two weeks ago. What? With really? Gillis. Yeah, it's on Shane Gillis' Instagram. Pull it up. It's actually a dope As fucking picture. I'm sorry? It's actually one of the coolest pictures of all time. It's like Shane Gillis, Dave Chappelle, fucking Jeff Ross, and then like Travis Scott is like crouched down in front of them. Damn, but maybe Aziz is coming back because I, I haven't heard uh, anything from... Aziz. I'm pretty sure time. it might have been just another Indian guy. Oh, that is Aziz. What it, the it's fuck? Aziz, yeah. yeah, that's definitely oh, wait, Aziz. I'm looking up Shane Gillis. Yeah, that's crazy. That is a hard picture. Why is Travis Scott standing like your <laughs> nephew? <I don't> know. <laughs> He's standing like a kid. Yeah, that's the one right there. <laughs> that is yep. Aziz. That's that, crazy. that little weird guy is Aziz Ansari. <laughs> 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 that little weird Indian guy. <laughs> that's definitely Aziz Ansari confirmed. Fuck that lady that accused him was probably fuming seeing that picture. Fuck, he's hanging out with Travis Scott now, <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Like that's like sold out a Madison Square Garden. <laughs> that's crazy. But he didn't have to ask for Roadhead after that. <laughs> he was just given to him. That weird little guy. Yeah, pull guy. up pull up the exact oh. allegations on this guy. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe he's doing a movie? Maybe he's bringing it back. Oh, Aziz Ansari and Seth Rogen? That's oh. going to be the funniest thing of all time. But it's been suspended indefinitely because of the dang writer strike. No! no. <laughs> oh, no. First no. we lose real time with Bill Maher. Now we're losing the, the Aziz funniest Ansari, movie. Ansari, Seth Rogen movie with Keanu Reeves? That's so Fuck. epic. Fuck, epic. dude. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like I would get so... Oh, okay, yeah, he's just come back recently, I guess. And so is the Me Too backlash. Oh, Ooh. it's following him. I feel like he is literally he, what if he's did like a nothing. one of those like alt right guys now. He hates <laughs> women. Um, those bigger. What if that was? Remember that video we watched? That Indian guy being like, "Men are getting red pilled about women." Men what if that was Aziz? <laughs> That's why he had sunglasses <laughs> on. <laughs> the elite's propaganda is failing. <laughs> Dude, Aziz is just at home watching Fresh and Fit right now. <laughs> he's watching Sneeko. <laughs> <laughs> Aziz, I'm sorry, he's watching Sneeko vids. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he got Yeah, that's so right. <laughs> yeah. <got> Turf <laughs> from the pop culture pantheon after an online essay graphically detailed his date with an anonymous 23-year-old who claims he pressured her into sex, ignored her cues to stop, and acted generally boorish and clueless. Those are boorish and clueless are basically how you could describe every guy ever. Yeah. Is boorish and clueless. Cuz I feel like he's just like, "Come on, give me some hand." She's like, "No." He's like, "Please." Please. And that's it. He's done. I buy you dinner. I took you to Equinox, please. <laughs> also, it's crazy to put Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey in the same category as Louis. What did Jeffrey Tambor do? What the f- wow, he looks evil. True. Who's Jeffrey Tambor again? I recognize the name. He was on Arrested Development. Yeah, he's he was like the, the dad. The dad who went to prison. Oh, really? Yeah. What did, what did he get accused of? I don't know. I no recollection No of way. That. Or it's Jeremy it. Piven, I also don't remember. What Louis C.K. literally was just asked asked some ladies if he could whack off his, on the that, Yeah, Louis C.K. was just, con- it's, it's kind of weird, but it, it was, was weird. central. Yeah, it was strange, but it was fine. Yeah, he, Jeffrey Tambor always looked villainous. Yeah, he does kind of look like a little a evil sexual guy. Sexual harassment. Come on, don't you want to fuck me? <laughs> oh, Please. Had sexually harassed and groped. Hmm. Hmm. Any, But this is, the, it's, it's crazy that like every actor over fucking 60 doesn't have these allegations. I feel like one of the other so- real soft ones was Garrison Keillor. Yeah, I remember who put that. It, he put his hand on a woman's back. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that is the most Garrison Keillor sexual assault allegation, though. What did yeah. Cuomo do? Didn't he do something like that, too? He was uh, They were at like a fundraiser or something. I think he just like put his hand on a lady's back, and I think that was it for him. <laughs> do, did is, is that why he's not the governor or the other Cuomo? Oh, I don't know which one it was. Chris I think or, I think uh, it was Andrew. the governor. It was the uh, go- was he, yeah, because he got turfed up. For, was that for that reason? Chris Cuomo was the governor, right? No, no Chris Cuomo was the, CNN. Yeah. Andrew was the one who. But put they both all the got fired from their jobs. Yeah, yeah. I think Forget Andrew why. Cuomo. Yeah, Andrew Cuomo is the one who got accused of like sexually assaulting people. I don't know what Chris did. 
Mm. I think it's crazy that every like he, if you he did say that when some guy called him Fredo at a party. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say if you <laughs> pull uh, that pull that video up, that that's would that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna get me hyped <laughs> up right now, man. That's our N word. Uh, okay, that was Chris Cuomo, Fredo. Fredo, I love sl- slurs for Italians. Fredo. Ah, uh, this is gonna be another fucking. <laughs> No, no, no. Short. Yeah, CBS New York. Get out of here. Oh, you clicked another CBS? Oh, no. Well, Maybe no, this is short, though, so it won't have yeah. all the analysis. No, it'll still have some. Holy shit. That's Italian for get out of my face. <sighs> just show oh, the gonna video. Talk over the whole oh, thing? my Fucking God. Bitch. That's just like that's just for boomers though. Like uh, all the information that they receive, they need somebody explaining yeah, it to oh, them. Yeah. It's like this is exactly what happened. Don't watch this and try and figure it out yourself. Yeah, but w- just let us tell you. When was the last time you saw a boomer read a book? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? When was the last time you saw a boomer like interpret? Yeah, I thought I thought that's who you were. No, punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh, you're much Fredo is from the Godfather. He was that weak brother. Isn't that your And they use though? it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Oh, Are you I Italian? Got, I got a it's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. <laughs> is, that, is that a cool fucking thing? You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, <laughs> you got something you want to say about what I do on television, then say it. But don't be a fool me. Hey, man. Insult. Hey, listen. What? what? I don't want any problems. Bro. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. What's the problem? It's a little different on TV. Don't fucking insult me like that. I didn't insult you. You call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? You want well, that to be I, your nickname? I didn't call you that. I, I you called me Fredo. I you know my name's not fucking Fredo. <laughs> I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. <laughs> you did not think my name was fucking Fredo. <laughs> then fucking own it. Then own what listen, you said. Man. Hey. Then own what you said. Listen, Take man, him I have a problem with you, man. Yeah, you're going to have a fucking problem. <laughs> well, what are you I'll fucking ruin Let's your shit. Then. I'll do fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking punk. Please do. You don't want to sue? So you can fucking sue? Well, why don't you do it? Go take a swing. You want to call me Fredo? Take a fucking swing. Take a fucking swing. Watch your fucking hands. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. No, no, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So you want to call me shit? Call me shit. I'm right fucking here. I'll fucking wreck your shit. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't know what you were doing? You didn't Man, I, I, w- I would fuck Chris Cuomo up, dude. I would fuck that He's guy He's pretty up. jacked. I, I'd get him. But really? I feel like if you get in a in a situation like that with a celebrity, yeah. you want it to go as far as possible. Yeah. You want to be throwing <laughs> fists. You want to get as injured as possible. Like the, you ever see that uh, Sugar Gay clip? From I was the, actually just thinking of that The one. Sugar Ray singer? Someone called it, he was like outside of the, in the parking lot at a show and someone called him Sugar Gay. <laughs> and he was like, dude, I will fuck you up. Who called me Sugar Gay? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Gandolfini's got. Oh, I have seen this. Uh, Gandolfini's got a bunch of clips like that, just attacking <laughs> paparazzi guys. Go, on, gentlemen! Make a hole! <laughs> Move it! Sugar Gay! Who said Sugar Gay? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Who you? Oh, I'm choking your fucking face. You say that? No, oh, I didn't say anything. You think you're going to be smart? <laughs> did, I say did I say anything? Did you say something? No, I did not say anything. Choke your fucking head. Choke your fucking head. <laughs> He's got like I think you should leave style <laughs> insults. Which one? Tomorrow. The one that Minnie Driver is gonna do. Well, I'll choke your fucking face. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No one. He didn't finish his autograph. Come on, fucking hell. You know? I'm fucking smart ass. Fucking hell. You look motherfucker. Like gonna beat the fuck out of you? Go ahead. Get smart, dude. Get smart. All right. Little bitch ass fucking shit. I'll fucking choke your fucking face. What do you mean? You done? Yeah, you done. What's the argument? Right these guys got some I think he knows that the choke your face thing makes no sense, but yeah. he's just going all in on yeah, it just to make it guy. sound like it's a real thing. Yeah. You done? Tweezer your nipples. Tweezer your nipples. He's got like Top Gun style battle talk. Yeah, I heard you say something. Mark, I want Ashley Tenori. Fucking punch your face. Hey. You done this? You go home and get inside. Uh, you're you're uh, the guy from Sugar Ray. I'm his favorite actor. It's the guy. Dude, like this, I love. You ever see that clip of um? You ever see that clip of Quentin Tarantino when he's coming out of Starbucks? Yeah. And the guy's filming him, and he's like, "What is this? What's going on here? What is this?" And the guy's like, "I just." He's like a Persian guy. He's like, "I just they film you," and he's like, "So you're not paparazzi? You're just some guy?" Yeah. And he's like, "I just they film with Quentin Tarantino," <laughs> and he's like, "Get the fucking camera out of my face!" And he like pushes it. <laughs> yeah, he smashes the shit, doesn't he? <laughs> he like pushes it, and the guy like tumbles, and then when he gets back up, Quentin's like thirty feet away, like speed walking <laughs> in his Canada Goose jacket. Yeah. 
it's uh, dude yeah i pray every day that dude, i there's get like me. 10 kanye videos like that too oh just like fucking paparazzi people yeah up. but there's also like a billion of him being like mad cute with paparazzi and like yeah. showing them like memes on his phone and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he's like <laughs> that one where he's like look at this meme i made <laughs> i made this meme <laughs> he's like show him. is he's, it a rare pepe or something <laughs> yeah some funny green text <laughs> Yeah, like I, I, my only goal with like trying to get successful in stand up is that I can like try to bait famous people into fighting. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Become an influencer boxer. No, like fist fight, like in, at mm-hmm. venues. Yeah, just yell, call them gay and stuff, and like, like random back alleys like, and stuff. If I ever met like Axel Rose, yeah, <laughs> like I'd want to, I'd want it to end with a fight. Yeah, I'd want it to call him like Axel Chode. <laughs> get him to fucking f- attack me would you call me yeah or like vince neal any like a- basically any like hair metal band singer i'd want to fight yep just because that'd be cool you just heckling twisted sister <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys trans <laughs> <laughs> nice hair you fucking fags <laughs> yeah. heckling fucking cinderella <laughs> hey, i want to get into the fight with the lead singer of the band rat with two T's. Rat. Rat. Are those guys still going? They must all be old as fuck. No. All those bands just play casinos now. Mm. That's what they do is mm. they always... Dude, the River Creek Casino, they've got a wicked lineup of like those old like washed up guys. Yeah. Uh, hair, 80s hair metal bands are always playing fucking casinos. Yeah. The other thing I realized that's like pretty lucrative that we should get into is uh, tribute bands. Mm. How, what, and get into in what sense? Like make one. Make a tribute band. Because, dude, they every casino twice a month has some tribute band there. Yeah, yeah. ABBA tribute bands. They're yeah. probably rolling in Elvis, it. Elvis, oh. ABBA. Oh, yeah. the Elvis guys. Yeah, El- The Elvis uh, tribute market's pretty saturated, though. You'd almost want to find someone more niche. Oh, yeah, Zeppelin. Oh, yeah, you don't see. Oh, Black Sabbath. There's Black, a. But, but, yeah, you want someone who's popular. Actually, there's probably a hole in the market now for Jimmy Buffett. Tribute Tribute band. bands. We could, start, we could get work our way up to a residency at Margaritaville, dude. <laughs> like a re- even a residency at the fucking River Cree. Yeah, dude. I'd be fine, but playing fucking cheeseburgers in paradise <laughs> twice a month, <laughs> making fucking two grand. Yeah, whatever. They they do well. It's like that is I like bet, yeah. that's like boomer. We were talking about how to get a boomer audience. Yeah, tribute bands. This tribute is, bands. Yeah, this is a good idea. That's that's the key, yeah. dude. Because they're all you can't go like. And you could probably if you just got your costumes down. Just like lip sync and not even learn how to play an instrument. <laughs> yes, yeah. You'd hire a guy on Fiverr who can do like a pretty okay cover and splice it into the regular song. Yeah, because yeah. people will people will notice if it sounds too good. Well, nobody's Actually, gonna accuse no. you of lip syncing in a casino fucking it's showroom. A, it's a bunch like, of fucking boomers. They're all to, they all have fucking fluoride brain. They don't know. Yeah, and they just lost. You know their kids inheritance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got a. They're going to. <laughs> they're going to <laughs> Yeah, they don't give a shit, dude. They're going to fucking <laughs> like Cuba next week. Yeah, they do not give it. They're going yachting next week. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, at it's all. like yeah, I remember this. Yeah, dude, I could have got. I went to Gordon Lightfoot at the River Creek. It could have been some guy. Yeah, just and some they, random old dude. Yeah, and my boomer ass was like, "This is nice. <laughs> nice. I love Gordon Lightfoot." Yeah, Edmund Fitzgerald. Let's go. Yeah, dude, tribute bands are the key. They play Get oh. Chaguni. That's I, that's my favorite <laughs> word in that. I just I listen to that song just to hear him say Get Chaguni. <laughs> I, love, I love that. Man. That song rules. Bro, Rip Corn Lightfoot, dude. He was the best. Yeah. See the sundown song? The sundown. Yeah, down, down, you better take care. care. He was the man, dude. Yeah. Fucking early morning rain. Yep. That's a spot in them. That's where we should slide. I don't think I'm slender enough to pull off Gordon Lightfoot. I'm Gordon fucking Heavyfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you could do Gordon Bigfoot, and it's sort of a Gordon Lightfoot, but like you rewrite the songs to be about cryptids. Oh, singing the wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald in a fucking Sasquatch costume. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should ching. <laughs> we're gonna be rich. <laughs> we just gotta look up like dead, moderately successful like folk singers from the seventies. Yeah, who yeah. else died this year? Fuck. Let's <laughs> we're doing some. Let's do some market research. Like, you could do like John Denver. Oh yes, his. is he still alive? I don't know, but he's pr- he's old enough to have a tribute. I think band. John Denver's been dead for a minute Probably. Possibly. I think I I think I did this recently. Yeah. And the boomers all they care about is hearing fucking country roads. Yes. So you could literally play fucking the record of the Edmund Fitzgerald they'd have no idea. Uh, okay, Tony got Bennett? Got oh. Harry, Harry Belafonte. Okay. Oh, Tony Bennett would be good. Paul Rubens. <laughs> <laughs> Pee-wee Herbert. <laughs> Pee-wee Herbert. <laughs> <Pee-wee Herber. laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Pee Wee Herman tribute show. <laughs> oh, you start jacking off. We could sell out the River Cree with that shit. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> None Welcome of these people everybody. are real celebrities. <laughs> oh, this guy's Smash Mouth. Oh, oh, right. Oh, dude, yeah, we all look like the guy <laughs> from Smash Mouth, dude. <laughs> you and me could definitely get that guy. Hey, now. <laughs> yes. Somebody once told me. Okay, because I, yeah. I have the facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just I am Smash Mouth. Shave the stash. You got the Steve Harwell look, dude. Oh, man. Oh, and there's like. The, uh, yeah, that's probably a good one. Yeah, because because it's recent, so there's probably not that many Smash Mouth tribute bands. No, going. yeah, you could yes. you just do like yeah, all star. Yeah. yeah, so don't delay. Well, and, <laughs> and we're getting to the point where the people who are listening to Smash Mouth as kids are rapidly becoming boomers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> so. Yeah, all the people that grew up on Shrek are at like prime River Cree age. Right yeah. Now. Jimmy Buffett. The Buff Master. There he goes. Yeah. Okay, most of these people aren't real celebrities. No. Because I've never heard of them. Jax, Robert Kane, Jamie Christopher. An assistant director who worked on the Harry Potter movie. <laughs> okay, stupid. <laughs> Not a celebrity. <laughs> An AD, dude. <laughs> An AD for fucking Harry Potter. Like, that's <laughs> not a celebrity. <laughs> Bo- oh. Bob oh. Oh. Do we get the Price is Right oh, a live show trivia. Think about how much gilf pussy you could get <laughs> <laughs> Bob Barker, bro. <laughs> Oh my god Because Bob Barker I like to imagine Was a guy who went out fucking Well and the people At the casino They would love To be like It's alive The price is right And you get to play For $200 Yeah yeah yeah, They definitely do that Yeah actually Yeah that that must already exist Arlene Sorkin Uh, Oh it's the Harley Quinn Voice actress Okay Bernie (laughs) Mardson Okay Oh I saw that The wrestler R.I.P. dude Terry Funk, oh, yeah, David Man, they Jacobs? just they don't give us celebrities with this hairline anymore. The Don Rickles, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the Rickles haircut. Yeah, they like just, it's not acceptable to have that hair anymore. They no. just and especially like if you have this hair, you're not gonna get on TV. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's in the fifties, they all had that. That I was think so that's what you had to have to get on TV. That was like asbestos yeah. hair. <laughs> yeah, you only got invited on Johnny Carson if you were bald just on the top. <laughs> but yeah, now they won't let you within a mile of the TV no. camera. No, I think it's because yeah, they send your ass to Turkey to get some fucking. <laughs> hair oh, we could do this guy. Implanted. We could impersonate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Want to do a live reenactment of NBC Family Drama? This is us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. We're <laughs> reenacting this is us episodes in the River Creek. <laughs> We're doing blackish episodes. <laughs> uh, the... What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> that's the type of thing that's so shitty it could actually be like super successful. Live blackish? <laughs> or or just doing like T V shows, but like live reenactments of like Seinfeld. Yeah, that would really be actually happen. dope. That would probably take off. Yeah, I, I feel like people would actually enjoy that. If we our new friend show is just literally live fu- Seinfeld episodes. <laughs> just an episode of Friends. Whoa, we guy was on Game of Thrones as every dirty guy <laughs> in the village. <laughs> what the what fuck? A weird looking guy. Holy shit, Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> meh. Clarence. Okay, Smith. Tom Jones. Okay, he's a music guy, right? Is is it the so. same I think that's Tom a Jones? Tom Jones. Oh. It's not unusual. <laughs> to yeah, move. That's, a, that's Tom Jones. Is that this guy? I don't think no, so. No, Tom Jones had like curly. He had like a oh, Jerry curly. Yeah, the hot. fantastic. Tom Jones. Tom Jones you want to talk gilf pussy? Oh yeah. Tom Jones got some gilf. Oh okay, never mind. It's some play that's a staple of regional and community theater, oh, featuring <laughs> F. Murray oh, Abraham, okay. Johnny Hardwick. Rip. Oh. Why do I always self sabotage? I like how he dressed like Dale Gribble in real life. You ever watch King of the Hill? Uh, I've seen like bits and pieces of it, but goaded show, dude. Fucking yeah. every somebody I've I've gotten it multiple times like within the past like three months. The people tell me I look like the kid from King of the Hill. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby. 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 <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. I mean, I if really you were see. if you were blonde, maybe. Yeah, maybe I don't start a Bobby tribute band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Live King of the Hill. I feel like I could I could do Hank. I want to yeah. like write a play. That would be Dale. cool. You could do I could it. I could do Dale, yeah. Easy do Dale. I could yeah, either yeah. do Hank or uh, uh who's the fat retarded? Bill? Bill. Yeah, I could do Bill. Yeah. 
We should bring King of the Hill to like Broadway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call King, it propane or King something. King of the Hill, the <laughs> musical. <Propane. laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I sell propane. <laughs> propane accessories. He sells propane. <laughs> <laughs> Sixto Rodriguez. You ever see that movie? Searching oh, for Sugar Man? Oh, that's the, I didn't know his name was Sixto. Yeah. Oh, Six dude, toe. I love Rodriguez. Yeah. And I wonder how many times you had sex. He's cool. Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. DJ Casper? <laughs> nah. Oh, yeah, William Friedkin. Oh, yeah. Could do the French co- the French Connection live. <laughs> the Exorcist <laughs> live. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, sorcerer Herbert J. Siegel. Oh, a billionaire internet entertainment industry mogul. Well, was one of those that, people that Kanye was talking about. <laughs> <Yeah. That's> <laughs> <laughs> Herbert J. Siegel, huh? <laughs> you know, oh. uh, John Gosling, the okay. Kinks, Mark. Oh, oh Hector. <laughs> Hector. Look at me, Hector. Hector Salamanca. Yeah. yeah, Breaking Bad live. That'd be another good one. <laughs> yeah, Breaking Bad the musical. I think people who love TV shows they especially love. Super low budget live performances. <laughs> have you ever? Have shows. you ever? You guys ever looked at uh, Metastasis, the live <laughs> Spanish Breaking Bad remake? No. Well, so Metastasis. How how Metastasis. would one spell that? Uh, metastasis. Um, dude, Telemundo did a w- full remake of the entirety of Breaking Bad in Spanish. Like ever ev- seen every season of it. Every season. Oh, I wait. I know. I saw. I saw a side by side image. Yeah. Of, of of the guy like laying in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh my full God. Spanish Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Juan Julio. <laughs> <laughs> In this show, all the Mexican characters are white guys. <laughs> really? They speak English. No. <laughs> Jesse's name is Jose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Does God, his son still second. have polio? Yeah, he's not nearly as fuck. They couldn't get a, the proper guy. Yeah, I've actually never seen Breaking Bad. I just watched Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> with two, with two jokes. And, and it's like the same length. The entire they did five seasons. They did everything, every episode. They like remade every episode in full Spanish. Damn, wouldn't it you be easier Breaking just to welcome back to Telemundo? <laughs> watch it with. Subtitles? What's that? Couldn't you just watch it with subtitles or Spanish dub? Yeah, but then, yeah, but you know how every like Spanish speaking country is always in the comments of everything being like, come to Brazil. Now they have it. (laughs) You know what I mean? Welcome back to Telemundo. We're tuning into Metastasis. Welcome back to (laughs) Telemundo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, all the the (laughs) twins in fucking uh, Tuco are just white guys now. Oh, and (laughs) it's like the the American cartel. Yeah, yeah. Tuco's name is Terrence. (laughs) And instead of living in New Mexico, they live in Mexico. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah. The guys are from New Mexico. All the Mexicans are from New Mexico. Yeah, it's cool. Metastasis. I I, I am curious. I would watch the entirety of that. I feel like you would make more money as a chemistry teacher in Mexico than a meth dealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like everybody's a meth dealer. <laughs> you got some fucking competition. Yeah, it's just it's just complete opposite. He had to start. He had to become a teacher. <laughs> to chemotherapy. His wife is like, <laughs> what there? Why are you? Te- are you smell like teaching? Are you teaching what there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but speaking of breaking, a man opens his door and cool he's teaching, and you expect that of me. <laughs> Trump no. impersonation. I am the one who teaches. Oh, is this a Trump call of duty thing? What exactly? What you look like and where you live? Well, well, I <laughs> I use a VPN, so that is so cap, Junior. I just pulled your IP. I've got it right now. No, you don't. Huh? Say Albuquerque, it. New Mexico. <laughs> Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's where you're from. That's not. Hey! <laughs> oh, I just pulled your IP. 308 Negro Aurora Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's you, isn't it? No. That's, I'm on Google Earth right now. I see a pizza on your roof. <laughs> that's that's my grandma's house. Oh. Nice try. No, it, what, so you're playing at your grandmother's house? You're a loser. Playing <laughs> <laughs> at grandma's. What, is she going to make you cookies and milk? <laughs> 
show what you think trump has seen one of these videos do you think somebody's like briefed him on this he's so he's online dude trump is he's on tiktok yeah Yeah, somebody probably sent him a truth about it yeah he he, (laughs) he, checked this out sir and he thinks they're funny whoa you were were you actually playing call of duty black ops 2 with the (laughs) the kid from breaking bad was that actually you (laughs) he would be a menace in a lobby oh yeah Oh, look at that. Another kill streak for me. Uh oh. <laughs> got a nuke. I got the dogs. I'm s- <laughs> sending the dogs on you. Yeah, him playing Call of Duty would just be that Abu El Baghdadi speech every time. <laughs> uh oh, you died like a dog. Look at you, sick. <laughs> Teabagging. You're sick. Look at you. <laughs> You're a sick little puppy, but not anymore. Look at me. I got the ray gun. This is the nicest ray gun. I've ever <laughs> My gun, it's fully custom, <laughs> custom to me in my hands. <laughs> Make Rust great again. <laughs> I wonder if Baron has got him into any games. Baron's a gamer. Yeah. Any guy with that posture. Oh, yeah. yeah. Games, dude. <laughs> he's gooning. Yeah, dude, he goons in games all day, dude. He's a basement dweller. Yeah. <laughs> he's a Mar-a-Lago basement Future dweller. Future president, Baron Dude, Trump. Baron yeah. is built like that, like, Lemony Snicket fucking guy. You know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey, like, how many series of unfortunate events? Yeah, he's, like, <laughs> fucking eight feet tall. <laughs> Like, yeah, he's like scary looking. Like, yeah, he looks yeah. like a, he like looks him, like a cryptid. Like, yeah, like him walking out of a <laughs> helicopter. <I'm> like, <laughs> he looks like a skinwalker. Yeah, look, dude. Guys in like North Dakota he's see him like out the their Grim window. Reaper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's got uh, in a movie for sure. Paul Dano would. Play. Okay, because Trump we know is six three two two hundred fifty. <laughs> yeah. pounds. that's confirmed. Yeah, confirmed for by him. So Baron's got to be six three, seven feet tall. Dude, also how mm-hmm. gay are news outlets? How Bre- special report: Baron Trump's age. <laughs> Breaking news: Baron Trump just turned sixteen. <laughs> he, he is nineteen years old. <laughs> he has a height Breaking. disease. Who, who's okay, winning in a fight? That's some short guy writing that. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a height disease. <laughs> yeah, he's got height disease. <laughs> it's it's a disease to be that tall and get that much <laughs> pussy. <laughs> you got to be sick. <laughs> My son, he's the biggest son. <laughs> Everyone else has much smaller kids than me. I mean, he is a pretty big son. <laughs> Who's is is Baron uh, winning in a fight against Trudeau's son? You seen Trudeau's? Does he have like a? He's got a tall Trudeau fucking son look kid like? too. Yeah, Trudeau's got like. But a I mean, the Trudeau son, son is almost certainly somebody else's son. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Sophie's son. Yeah, yeah, he's some fucking drama, some other drama teacher's son. Because Sophie's also a nightmare bitch. Oh my god. I'm saying Baron's <laughs> his winning. Son, Matt Rife. <laughs> I mean they're I can't really tell. I'm I'm saying Baron's winning. Yeah, Baron's Yeah, Baron's taking winning, that dude. guy. Baron would never wear a shirt like that, by the way. Oh no, pull up pull up the one of them coming off the plane in India there. That was from my that was recent. Oh my god. Yeah, no, yeah, Baron's. I'm winning. still saying Baron. Yeah. yeah. But my son, he could beat the shit out Look, of you. Look, he's son. like he's wearing a suit jacket that doesn't fit. Yeah. No, he's like yeah. He's got his dad syndrome, which is like handsome guy syndrome. Yeah. Where you just yeah. act like a total f- Bag jacket. Okay, they have so much money. Couldn't he get a fucking suit jacket that fits? It's like it's so tight that it's like he. You don't understand. Hunched over. No, no, no. Look at the Barbie picture. He's look at the shirt he's wearing in that. That doesn't. It doesn't even come close to fitting him. (laughs) True. Is Xavier. Xavier. Oh man, yeah. So that's Bar- our. For, this is be, ca- be careful, guys. This is our future prime minister <laughs> that we're talking about that's here, pro- Xavier Trudeau. That's quite likely true. Honestly, yes. In a, in a fist fight, just based on name alone, I'm going on Baron every time. Yeah, Baron. Time. That's a the Red Baron. It's a powerful name. I'm putting an name. oil Baron. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Baron's got to have like a foot on this guy too. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Oh yeah. Does Baron have? Does he talk like Trump? Actually, none of the other kids. They none of his other no. kids really have the voice. His dad is their dad is a master. <laughs> I mean, is there any recording of him talking? I've probably I've, some. I've never some, some League of Legends lobbies <laughs> somewhere where he's talking shit. He talks like Walt Jr. <laughs> <laughs> My dad could beat the shit out of your dad. <laughs> Even if they're the son of a former president. From a weird hand swat during a parade to a hilarious high five fail. Hilarious. Trump's uncomfortable moments just happen to be. He's He's got got a a fucking. fucking, (laughs) He's got a Napoleon Dynamite. (laughs) (laughs) Did you see his shirt said the expert? (laughs) Well, your dad's Trump, obviously. You're going to get some. He's an expert. You can get some (laughs) steez. My dad is the president of the America. He would beat the <laughs> shit out of you. Is there no recordings of his voice? 
Why does Barry and Trump have a Slovenian <laughs> accent? What? <laughs> mom's name is fucking Ivanka. No, it's his mom's Millennia. Oh, Millennia. Who the hell is Ivanka then? Ivanka's she was so his that's daughter. His, that's his daughter from his first right, wife. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, right, yeah. Ivanka's his daughter of <clears throat> Ivana. Yeah, and Ivana's dead. I, I heard that Trump buried Ivana at uh, on the first hole of his golf course. Nice. So, nice. so now it's like the place. It's like a tax write-off thing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it, it's like technically a cemetery or something. Out if of the I deal. Knew Ivana, I knew she loved golfing. I think he literally said something like that. Like of she would have wanted to be buried. Yeah. And he got a great deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Baron could easily wipe the floor with Xavier. 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 Sure. Yeah. Then he had some middle wife who who was the mother of Tiffany. Too, I think I forget what her well, name. Who's was. Tiffany? Tiffany, that's his daughter who he never talks about. <laughs> oh, she's oh, a I was fat g- bitch. <laughs> 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 she doesn't call me back. She's fat and ugly. Because yeah, yeah. he wants to fuck Ivanka, right? He's talked about how hot she is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's had some words about how sexy she is for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can imagine th- those family dinners and shit at that table, like Don Jr. Yeah. He's fucking. Do you ever see the the clip of them driving to Taylor Swift's place? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> In dead silence with the flash. Yeah, and Trump's behind. He, he's the one driving the Rolls Royce <laughs> yeah, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to go through the drive-through? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there is there any recording of Baron Trump speaking. This guy's like Lincoln. There's not a fucking. <laughs> there's no audio of his voice out there. Learned this skill from Melania. H.J. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we'll hear his voice in due time. Oh, yeah. yeah. When, when he becomes president. <laughs> oh, yeah. Barron is going to be the president of the United States. <laughs> Xavier will be the <laughs> prime minister <laughs> of Canada. Yeah. yeah I, like to, I hope when Barron speaks, he sounds like Jason Statham. <laughs> well, because right now, I, I think that will be what happens. Xavier, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'll walk over and I'll kick the fucking ass out. I'll yeah. kick you off. Fucking Gonna ass. make Mexico pay for the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like fucking Tommy Shelby. <laughs> I will choke your fucking dick, mate. <laughs> I'll choke your fucking head. I'll choke your fucking head. <laughs> he sounds like Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great day to be alive. Break out the red panties. <laughs> We're building a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, got to have a sick ass voice. If you live in Toronto, who right the now, fuck is this? Guy? <laughs> 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 the double champions. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good Conor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he. Uh, that's probably why there's no recordings. Is because Trump's got him in like voice therapy right <laughs> yeah. now to make sure he's got a sick voice to get his refining the accent, <laughs> yeah. the Statham accent. Yeah, all the sure way he, down. Just make sure he sounds cool in some way. He definitely d- does have a fucked up like accent. Though. Like, but listen, like, have you heard Melania speak? No, I don't have you heard? So. Did you ever see the video of her ripping off Michelle Obama's entire speech? No. Oh, yeah. Well, because she's from Slovenia. Yeah. So you can't really blame her for fa- sounding all fucked up and retarded. Yeah. But honestly, from a foreign like, country. But if those are the two voices you're hearing, yeah, <laughs> what does that sound like? Trump and Melania fighting? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, they probably don't fight. She just probably fucks somebody else, and he does yeah. the exact same. Whenever he's like moderately, it's funny to think about Trump like having, like the the like you, the that like subdued relationship anger where you're not directly pissed, but you're like kind of passive about it. Mm. She's like, "What is wrong, Mister Trump?" And he's like, "Nothing." Do you think she calls him Mr. Trump? <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> she calls him Donnie. <laughs> Mr. Trump, please. <laughs> As if she isn't Mrs. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny to think about him like doing all that. Like, No, really, it's, it's all good. It's fine. Yeah. Don't even sweat it. It's, he's hard, kind of a hard guy to imagine what he's like um, just off camera. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're barren hearing your parents fight at night. Like, what? <laughs> you have... The most disgusting pussy what I've ever seen. Do think Barry you always plays. do this. You act just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like her. <laughs> and I'm waiting. You're a time bomb. Your mom's fat. Look at you. <laughs> uh, You're a time bomb. You're going to get huge one day on me. Yeah, go stay at your sister's house. Maybe that would be best for this relationship. Go stay with your sister. Uh, she'll fill you with good ideas. <laughs> your sister divorced eight times. She's right all the time, right? <laughs> Your sister, that fat horse, she's good. (laughs) (laughs) It seems like just yesterday that we were at our first convention where my husband accepted the Republican nomination and then became our 43th president. (laughs) (laughs) Yet the energy and enthusiasm for who should lead this nation? This is literally the retarded kid reading in class. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, Junior reading. 
He's yeah, he's 40, married to Walt Jr. 40 dude. Third president. Mm, 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 All the my, enthusiasm. <laughs> my husband <laughs> is the be- best president <laughs> you want to have. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I wish there was a Baron Trump speech. That's there actually crazy. There's no audio of this kid. It's Not that I in, can find. I'm, t- I'm telling you, boys, it's because he's in training. <laughs> yeah, he's in training camp right now to get a cool voice. He emerge, better sound yeah. identical to one of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope it's Don. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that'll be better when he's president. For as an American president, you want to sound more like Don. Than Either I way, want. he's going to be the president, but. Um, It'll be a little awkward if he sounds like Melania. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like Zelensky. <laughs> Hello, I am happy to be the president. <laughs> yeah, he's just some like weird, like fucking effeminate foreign guy. <laughs> but but he's uh, he's got like all the mannerisms and he talks like his dad. Yeah, but he just sounds hands. like his mom. And all the same like you know biker style dudes like yes, <laughs> yes, Baron. <laughs> just like weird gangly Slovenian twink. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> standing back and standing by. I will die for you, sir. Please uh, do not go <laughs> to the Capitol. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Man. How long are we at on this bad boy? Uh, I think we've crested an hour. Nice. Yeah. I feel like we have. Could do this all day. There's a... This has been a blast. This has been very fun. Thank you for coming on, my brother. The Patreon yeah, one fun. was scary. <laughs> yeah, was crazy. Yeah. But I'm it glad it led us to this. <laughs> it was pretty dark. This was the fun. This was the light side. <laughs> yeah. Because we're sort of uh, in this podcast. There's your your worst nightmare. Your your best angel. We could be your angel, or we could be your fucking devil. Yeah. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> Tune into Patreon if you want to see the dark, twisted, fucked up side of the show. Th- this is the one. Watch that shit with headphones, dude. <laughs> Don't, dude that's an at-home view. In that. <laughs> yes. Do not watch the Patreon one in public. Actually, Lock your door, turn the lights off, <laughs> Actually, get on the Patreon. Watch it on the bus with a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> yeah, watch it in a library or something. <laughs> yeah, use yeah. a school computer. Blast. Yeah, project it onto a TV in the library with your phone. Yeah, airplay it onto the smart board in your classroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if someone sends us a picture of this show being played on a smart board in a classroom, <laughs> yeah. you'll be Chrome Boy of the Year. Chrome Boy of the Year. Yeah, and you'll get uh, the first shirt. Yeah, you're getting free front row tickets to the Smash Mouth uh, tribute band <laughs> yeah, we're starting. Yeah. yeah. It's called Smash Burger. <laughs> 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 Smash Burger coming to a casino near you. It's just the three guys who look kind of like the singer. <laughs> and the gears start coming and they don't stop coming. Hey now, you star, eat burgers. Hell yeah. <laughs> we should do Rob Zombie cover band. Yeah. Yeah. Just doing Super Called Beast. Bob Dude, just Zombie. Trump tribute band. Let's start a Trump <laughs> tribute band. Yeah, just, just do all his greatest hits. <laughs> yeah. Just dance, do it playing YMCA and kind of doing his like. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, do the dance. We had all the quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Only Rosie O'Donnell. That's that's the closer. <laughs> that's the class. <laughs> the crowd. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we because you'd be in jail right now. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. That's the closer you action. Say, you wrong. It's <laughs> <laughs> just us doing saying China for nine minutes. <laughs> China. China. <laughs> <laughs> There's money to be made. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I yeah. think we figured this out. Well, we're, boomers were coming for your wallets. Yep. Yep. Keep them tight. All right. Yeah, check out the Patreon. Check out the Brandon Peters podcast. Oh, yeah, listen to my Brandon Peters podcast. You're gonna want to check out the yellow one though, not the other one. Yeah, the yeah the one that yeah, but this yellow, that yellow. Yeah, not the other the guy. There's one. some other fucking dweeb that ta- I don't even know what he talks about. I think I think there's one that's music, and yours is comedy. Oh, is the other one? Is it music? I, I listened to like one episode of it. It's not good. Listen to my one. Yeah, yeah look, look, you, you want the yellow P-P. one. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the yellow one. The other Brandon yeah. Peters podcast is encouraging you to have sex with animals. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to listen. Listen to this guy's one. Listen to like, the yellow one. I'll put. A, I'll actually try and remember this time to put a link. Yes. Link below. Yes. Hell yeah. Link. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, link below. Right there. <laughs> Click the description. I usually say that. <clears throat> And then forget to do it, but this time I'm going to remember. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to want to click the, bell the um, <laughs> yeah. click the like, subscribe, bell button, yes, and then link below. And tell your friends. Yeah. Tell your friends and don't tell your teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Be cool about it. Be chill, because uh, we do talk about terrorism a lot. Yeah. All right. Later, fellas. Get out of that hole. Talk about something else. Yeah, I probably should have waited. That was deep.
definitely more of a Patreon <laughs> subject matter to bring up. It is cool to do the Patreon with the solo. Yeah, I like that. And then just brag about it. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll get people, I think, more hooked because usually, like, we just do the first one. 